All right, everyone, it's time to earn our eighth and final gym badge. Yep, that's right. We're in Human Law City, and we are going to take on the Human Law Gym. Oh, but first, I just noticed something. You know what? I totally spaced out. See that item back there? Yeah, it's rather tricky to even see. <laughs> Um, you can only get it if you use Surf, and it's not very obvious. You have to Surf right behind the gym. Go do that quick. Alright, there we go. It's a Shell Bell! Cool, that can be used to heal some hit points whenever you get hit. Uh, well not whenever you get hit, but whenever you, uh, whenever you hit the foe with an attack, so it's okay. Leftovers typically tends to be a better choice, but if you're doing a lot of one-hit KOs, and doing a lot of training or something, the Shell Bell can be rather helpful. Anyway, that being said, let's head on into the gym! It's really relaxing, man. Make sure you take, uh, take your time and talk to Clyde here. He'll give you the fresh water. So, the trick to getting through this gym is to not take it so seriously. You know, it's just, it's just about water-type Pokémon, man. They're not too hard to beat. You just gotta use an electric type or a grass type Pokemon. I happen to have both. Yep, you do. Well, I do. Hopefully you do too. Otherwise, they're not resistant to too many things. I'm gonna lead with my scale leaf. How do you like riding on leaves? If you manage to beat me, I'll teach you something good. You'll see. <laughs> I have to talk all Hawaiian style, kinda. I do. Sort of the Hawaiian in me, you know. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm going to take on this Floatzel level 47. Yeah, it's a pretty tough little Floatzel. Amazingly, I outspeed it. It's kind of interesting. They're typically pretty darn fast. Woo! Scaleaf leveled up. And Vesuvian's still going at it. Oh snap, it's a Mantine. So you are going to be in good shape if you use Grass or Electric-type Pokémon in the gym, but Electric-type are the better play, and the reason is you'll run into a lot of Water Flying or Water Ice-type Pokémon in the gym. Which, uh, yeah, they're resistant to Grass-type attacks. Electric-type attacks, though, yeah, they're just amazing. There's no, uh, no Palpitoads I don't think you have to worry about either. I don't think so. So that means there's no no weird immunities. So the puzzle, if you'll even call it that, is rather simple. You walk around on these lily pads, lily pad, lily pad, my lily pad go, and you can uh, you can hop onto them, and then they'll just carry you across. It'll stop when it hits one of the um, thingies there, or another lily pad, like I just did in that example. For instance, if I were to hop here. I could leave if I wanted, and it filled in the blank here so I can just cross whenever I want, I guess. It's actually more useful for the exit, because the, uh, you know, the stuff on the side, it'll fill up. Anyhow, bump that one over there, and then, uh, make sure your Pokemon are good. I want to use Magneto. I know it has to be getting discharged before too long. It is said that water will not grow stagnant as long as it keeps flowing. So as long as I keep moving onward... Alright. Well, uh, you're kind of trapped right now. I don't think you're really moving onward. Oh, you have an Elamo. Huh, weird thing. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to take out. It just has some rather annoying moves up its sleeves. Or up its fins, rather. I guess uh, it doesn't really have sleeves. Let's see how much this does. Probably not enough to knock it out. Not quite, but still did pretty darn good. I'm just gonna use Signal Beam to conserve a little bit of PP here. There we go. Oh yeah, Vesuvian, 43. Not gonna do any good in this gym, that is for sure. Wow, quad weak to water. This is the wrong place. Well, I'm not really training up Vesuvian to take on um <laughs> to take on this gym, trust me. It's more for just a whole bunch of other stuff. So walk along here and you'll run into this thing. 
Now you can hop on here if you'd like, or uh, where does that take you? That takes you over there, and I don't think that's gonna even take you anywhere. Here, I'll show you. So you can actually approach it from any angle. Oh, well, actually, I guess it does take you over here. In fact, it looks like it just means you skip fighting that that uh, ace trainer altogether. But if you do want to fight him, you gotta hop there, and then you gotta hop here. In fact, that's a little better to do, because that way it'll push that little pad all the way over there. Oh, to think that you would deliberately seek me out for a battle! I'm so tickled that I won't hold anything back as a reward. Oh, well, that's just a generous reward there, pal. So generous, you really shouldn't have. Ace Trainer Santino. He's got a wall rain. Oh, snap! This thing is a big honking thing. Look at that. Whoa. Big honking thing. It is an ice water type. So, I'm actually going to use Flash Cannon because it's even stronger. It's a very bulky Pokemon, so it'll probably take two hits to knock it out, even with a super effective hit. Oh! Derp, that's right. Water, for some reason, resists steel. How strange. Um, oh well. It happens to the best of us. I just got so excited that it's like, oh, I'm super effective against you one way or the other. Ice Fang. Well, thankfully, there's not a whole lot it can do against me. Darn it all. Oh, no. Rest? What's that all about? Hey, don't you be doing that. Alright, let's not get hit by confusion. Oh yeah, three turns in a row. Hey, look at me, I'm awesome. I hit myself for three turns in a row. What the heck? Oh, it's snoring. Wow. I don't see that all that often. Oh, yay, I didn't hit myself four turns in a row. Thank goodness. Alright, let's try to take this thing out. Oh, so much better. Snore, no! Okay, let's try it. Yay, snap out of that confusion! So annoying. Okay, that big tank thing is out of here. Rest in peace. <laughs> what oppressive force! What a trainer! Well, this guy's excitable. Losing will only make me stronger. I will use this frustration as a stepping stone to rise again. For that, I thank you. Sure thing, man. Um... Oh, right. So, if you did that, you can cross over here now. I guess it's optional to fight him. Entirely optional. But you might as well. A little bit of experience and a bit of practice. And that whole memory that, oh yeah, that's right, water resistant to steel, it's so nice. Just not in this instance. When I win, and even when the impossible happens and I lose, I analyze every one of my battles to grow stronger. Do you really think you can beat someone like me? Yeah, I do. I do. You're not that great. You just got an ego, that's what you have. Oh, it's a Pelipper! Pelipper! Ah, uh, yeah, level 47, so, you know, kind of decent, but she is an ace trainer after all. So, you know, you kind of expect that. Now, I have a feeling my levels would be looking a little bit better if I wasn't investing some of the experience into Vesuvian. So, if you're only using four Pokémon, they'll be a bit better off, and I was wrong about Discharge again. Darn it! No big deal, but... I gotta double check when that thing gets it. Because I've been looking forward to that for a while. Okay. Oh, snap! Look at that thing! It's a Wailord! It's the biggest Pokemon in the game. The thing is huge. Just look at it for a moment. Oh, and Discharge is 51. I was close with the 46. That's what it was in the original Black and White. But they upped it to 51 for some reason in Black 2 and White 2. Go figure. So even though, uh oh, it's diving, wow. Well, uh, I'm just gonna use coil. Nothing else I can do, I'm gonna go faster. Might as well reduce the damage done by a little bit. Boom! Like how can something that big dive in a place like this? It's like what, 47 feet or something like that? Some ridiculously huge amount. 
It can breed with Skitty, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. It is a, a member of the field egg group, which is oftentimes a point of joking, you could say. Uh, I won't elaborate much further on that, but it's just one of those funny things that they put it in the same egg group as pretty much every main Pokemon. Of course, there's no real alternative to that. The whole egg group thing is rather silly when you think about it. Look at her just dance around. It's kind of weird. Alright, so to solve this, let's just uh, float on over here. Just out of curiosity, though, what happens if I go the other way? Yeah, dead end. But you can see the gym leader over there, just chilling, just chilling. So, we're gonna take this on over here. Just ride it, man, it's all good. And then from here, there's a few options. Um, you can either move on over this away, and you'll have to fight this guy. Although this isn't really going to get you that far. This is just if you want to fight him. To be as clear as water, that is the style that I seek! Alright, clear as water. Back in my day, Shunny, we use the expression clear as crystal, but I guess crystal is pretty old nowadays. That was what, Gen 2? Alright, Debt Basculin. We gotta take that thing out now. I gotta recover my PP pee -pee too. Ugh. Sound of just four. Oh man, almost did enough to know. Ah, flail, not good. <laughs> uh, that was a little scary. A zoomeril. Oh my. All right, I'm gonna send Scale Leaf out here. Try to take this thing out. Hopefully, it doesn't have huge power. Could be the thick fat variety. I could also just fight a Zoomerill versus a Zoomerill. That'd almost be kind of entertaining. But I'm just gonna have Scaleaf deal with this. There we go. Oh, Aqua Ring. Oh, please. Alright, let's do Dragon Pulse for no good reason. Actually, just to conserve the PP of Leaf Blade. Yep. And a Basculin. There we go, I can take this thing out. Oh, this one's a blue stripe basculin. A? Eh? No big deal. One leaf blade and it's over for you. Yeah! When I lose, I feel as if I just might disappear. As if I might just disappear, my bad. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, totally optional. That's not the way you really wanna go. You wanna go this way. I just want to fight everyone, because that's what I do. I fight people! <laughs> Alright, we're going to move Scaleaf up front here. And we're going to fight you! I think you're actually the last trainer we have to fight in here. The thing about water is that it's always changing. From the piercing strength of a jet to the crushing power of a wave, that's what I'm about to show you! Really, that's a pretty bold threat there. That is a pretty bold threat. I'd like to see you try Ace Trainer Sable. We've got a Golduck. I'm not impressed. I like Golduck and all, but if you're gonna do all that stuff you just described, you're gonna need a little bit more than that. All right, let's take this thing out. Oh, not quite one hit, but surprisingly, I actually dodged its attack, wow. See ya. And, ooh, a Starmie. Actually, I probably should have sent out Magnazone. Because this thing has higher defense than it does special defense. Oh, well. I should still be able to take it out in two hits. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, I should remove the Draco plate. Definitely. I need to get the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Expert Belt or Miracle Seed or something on this. Darn it. Uh, I hit myself so often with confusion. It's like 70 to 80 percent at least. There we go. Get out of here. 
So Scale Leaf level 48, cool, cool. And Vesuvian level 45. I might start being able to use him before too long. You're just as strong as Marlin, or perhaps even stronger. Well, I hope I'm stronger, because I'm about to take him on. So, hop on that, and then you're going to be stuck here, seemingly. Actually, I guess you can fight him here anyway. But, it's no big deal. You just hop on over there. And this is where the magic happens, kids. Hop on this little pad, and then you'll bump into this one here, and it's stuck up there. But that's fine, because what you're going to do is... You're going to hop on this one, and then you'll bump into that little pad right there. So, uh, yeah. Here you are, at the gym leader! Now, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon really quick here, and, uh... Let me think. I could probably do this with just fresh water. There we go. Close enough. Uh, I need... I need, like, an ether or something. Do I have a Lepaberry? Whatever that berry is that heals. Huh. Well, I guess I'm out of my weakest ether. I'll have to use either a max ether or an elixir. Hate using those things, but why not? Um, have to do it for Electro Ball, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I'm good on Leaf Blade, actually. Let me double check. Yeah, seven should be sufficient. Okay, cool. So, yeah, my team, you know, I'm gonna use Servine, obviously. And I'll have Magneto for backup. Did I say Servine? Oh, man. He hasn't been a Servine in a while. I mean, Superior. Wow, you know it's late when. Anyway, you can take that little pad all the way to the beginning if you want to take a moment to go out and heal. Otherwise, I'm just going to ride it on over. Now, I think you can actually take the uh, little pads on the side at this point to get back to the top here and uh, give you easier access to fight Marlin. In fact, let's just try it out. I'm not really going to go heal. Probably help me, but I just want to see if, you know, kind of not doing all that well, you want to take an opportunity to go out and heal, how quickly can you get back in? That's the kind of stuff I need to show. So let's just see. Woo! Get back in that gym. Okay. Let's see if I was right. Oh, well, that's easy. I guess the ones on the side are just if, you know, you need to go halfway through or something. Yeah, man, this is super chill, super relaxed. It's super awesome. It's tubular. Anyway, we don't really talk like that. So, here he is, the last gym leader in the game! Marlin, the Water-type Master! So, a Grass-type Pokémon, or at least a Pokémon with a Grass-type attack, will be your best bet for your lead. But, Electric-type Pokémon are pretty good, too. Additionally, uh, fighting types will do all right against his lead Pokemon. Sup? Here already, huh? You look strong. Shoots, so let's start. Sounds good, bruh. Devin versus Marlin. Aw, oh, yeah. Time to take this guy on. Boing. He just jumps in from the water and then goes to scream at the sea. <laughs> he leads with his Caracosta. Yeah, this thing's a level 49. It's quite a tank of a Pokemon. It has a lot of attack and defense. It's quite slow, though. It's a water rock type, meaning grass type attacks will do excellent against it. However, I think this one has sturdy. We're gonna find out. Uh, yes it does. And it uses that as part of its strategy because it likes to use Shell Smash. This amazing move lowers its defense and its special defense by one stage but raises its attack, special attack, and speed by two stages apiece. Dude, you're really getting into this, huh? Yeah, man, I am. On top of that, he likes to use a Hyper Potion if he lives with Sturdy. So you're going to be dealing with this monster of a Caracosta. Definitely watch out for that. Um, try to apply as much pressure as possible, because you really don't want it to hit you. 
particularly after Shell Smash. Yeah, it can be annoying. And when he heals up to full, guess what? Sturdy will trigger again. However, I think after the first time he heals, he won't do it again. So you can use Dragon Pulse or whatever other move you have to, uh, to finish the job. Keep in mind that he is faster, though, so some of your medium-speed Pokémon won't do quite as good. Alright, next up, Wailord! I know, another one of those big, giant whale things. So, I'm gonna switch out for Magneto here. And, uh, yeah, just kind of stare at this big old thing. We're going to use, um, I know it's gonna take two hits, so I'm gonna start with the Thunder Wave. There we go. Now, as big as it- Oh, no! Amnesia! Ugh, I wasn't expecting that. That raises its special defense by two stages. So, this might not do as much as I thought it would. Should still do alright. Oh, yeah. That's a great. Yeah, despite as big as it looks, or despite its huge size, it really is not that bulky. I mean, it has a ton of hit points, but its defensive stats are really low, so it almost doesn't matter. Lastly, he'll use his Jellicent, and this thing can be rather annoying. It's at level 51. It is a ghost uh, water type. And, uh, yeah, it likes to use brine and stuff. Aw, oh, dude, I know I'm about done, but I'm just still so pumped up! Right, so I'm gonna Thunder Wave it. Not a bad idea to do from the get-go. Try to debilitate it a bit. Scald. Yeah, he likes to use Scald on you. It's a water-type attack that hits moderately strong, but it also has a decent chance of burning you, which can lower your Pokémon's physical attack. Well, physical base attack's power, really. Try to avoid it and administer burn heals and stuff or full restores if you get if you get hit by the burn. But try to take it out with ghost type attacks, electric type attacks, grass type attacks, even dark type attacks will all do pretty good against it. So just like that, Jellison has been defeated and I have earned my final badge. You totally rocked that! You're raising some wicked Pokemon. You got this trainer thing down, man. I know, bruh, I do. You don't look... <laughs> you don't just look strong. You're strong for reals. For reals! Hey, I was swept away too. Oh yeah, yo. I was so surprised that I forgot. I gotta give this to you. Sweet, dude. Looks like a little water droplet, man. It's awesome. So rad. My final gym badge. Righteous. Devin received the Wave Badge from Marlin. That's the Wave Badge, the Unova Region's new Gym Badge. Pretty sweet, right? Now you got all eight badges so you can be tight with any Pokemon. Oh yeah, I got a TM for you too. Take this, bro. It's TM55, Scald. So Scald sometimes burns a target, okay? Oh, and you can even use it when you're all frozen and chilling and stuff. Shoot, I'm off then. Hope it's useful. See you later, bruh. Yep, and he just swims off to the ocean to go scream at it again or something. Cool. Then you can just chillax right on this little lily pad out to the beginning. It's pretty nice, yo. Pretty nice indeed. So, we're gonna leave really quick here gonna see what's waiting for us outside. Aw, oh, it's you, man. Hey, check it, dude. I got my badge. You got all the badges. You're really something. Usually you go to the Pokemon League now, but dealing with Team Plasma comes first. Hey, man. Sup, yo? <laughs> what's this Team Plasma you're talking about do? <laughs> what does it do? Team Plasma does things like steal my sister's I mean people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering Unova by using Pokemon to freeze it solid. They're really evil. Haven't you heard of them, Marlin? No. When the ocean's your home, you don't worry about things like that. Because the ocean accepts all rivers. So you think Team Plasma's bad, then? No, they aren't just bad. They're Plas bad. Shoot! Not bad. You think that, but still fight? But first, you got to say that in your own words. 
When you do, you'll understand better what you want to do and what you're hoping for. I don't understand what he just said, but whatever. Well then... <laughs> See ya. Man, I don't know if that guy is laid back or just irresponsible. That kind of got me down. But our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus. But before that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route 22. Got it? Yep. Roger that. 10-4, good buddy. So, in the next episode, now that we have all our badges, we're going to head on over to Route 22 to the northwest. And we'll check there for any signs of Team Plasma. I'll see you next time, trainers, on Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure.